Hey everyone, it's Tarasa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spring look. This is my first spring look that I'm doing on my channel, so if you want to see how I did this, keep on watching. Start off with priming my face as always. I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional, and then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Um, here I'm using the Rimmel, a Rimmel brow pencil. It's literally like a pound from Superdrug, but um, it does the trick. My eyebrows are at that phase where they are extremely thick, they're growing out, they need to be done. So um, I'm just trying my hardest to make them look presentable. So because my eyebrows are super bad at the moment, I have to use concealer to make them look a bit better. So I use LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and Espresso. I use Fawn down below to give a nice highlight underneath my brow bone and to cover any ingrown hairs. Then I use Espresso at the top just to shape and define my eyebrows a little bit more. using this new product from Kiko it's a dark circle concealer and it is so so good if you're like me and have been sleeping on Kiko I definitely advise that you take a look because their products are really really good um, but I'm just using that underneath my eyes just to give me a bit more coverage <laughs> I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. A lot of people have been saying a lot of good things about it and I have been enjoying it so far. I just think if you do have oily skin it isn't the best for you. I've got normal to dry skin and it does leave me quite oily throughout the day so I have to like set it with a powder. But um, yeah, if you've got oily skin, it might not be the best for you. But I'm just going to apply that all over my face with my beauty blender and blend it all out. <laughs> I'm just going to use the Milani um, eyeshadow primer and I'm going to apply that all over my lids. Then I'm going to take Latte um, from Makeup Geek and apply that all over my lids as well. Then with Makeup Geek's Bitten, I'm going to apply that all over my crease um, on the outer corners and bring it all the way forward like where the inner corners of my eyes are. <laughs> Then from the Morphe 35 Warm Palette, I'm going to take the shade I just pointed to and apply that all over my lid. So what I'm doing now is, is going back in with Bitten and just applying it more into the inner corner of my eye and actually putting Bitten into on the lid as well, just so the gold and the burgundy blends in together a bit better. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit to obviously highlight and contour. If you want to see my full contour and highlight routine, um, I'll leave that link down below. But um, yeah, that's just what I'm going to do now. <laughs>
going to add more of Bitten into the inner tear duct. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara, put some um, black eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes as well. And that is it for the eyes. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Global Glow. Just applying that onto my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to move on to my lips. I'm using Max Chestnut to just outline my lips and then going in with Colourpop's Tulu. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. But after that, the look is complete. <laughs> that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe um don't forget to follow me on my social media as well everything is at tarasai x but thanks again for watching today and i will catch you in my next video bye guys